in uh, Lake Elsinore, California at the Hurling Racing Fusion Off-Road Prep Shop. Central heart of Lake Elsinore, right here at the Fusion Off-Road Shop, Hurling Racing Shop. I do all my own work on my truck. Brett Summers does the work on my dad's truck. He's working on his own truck, doing all of his own work on his truck so he knows his truck, which is really awesome and I think it benefits him a whole bunch. It really gives you a lot of confidence knowing your truck inside and out and makes you feel more comfortable being inside the vehicle. So I started off with a trophy light. We definitely had to learn the transition from the Trophy Light class to the 6 to 100 class. Joey's come a long way in the last year. He's, he got, people got to remember, he's only been racing trucks for two and a half years, and he's come a long way. It took about a year to figure the truck out, starting to get higher up on the leaderboard, and uh, definitely battling within top 10 every single race. Those top guys, the podium guys, you know, whether it's Travis Chase, Travis Williams, or, or any of the other guys, they, those guys are on the edge. Um, Joe is on the edge. So they are going to push where this old boy ain't going to push. Silver State's one of my favorite races. It's a lot of really beautiful country and Billy and I raced the very first Silver State on motorcycles so it's, it's a pretty important race to us. Silver State's definitely a challenging race. It's all fast paced through the trees, keeps you on your toes and it keeps your head going all the time. So we qualified in Prim, Nevada, right there at State Line. It was a really tight, really fun qualifying course. So we went in, hammered down, and tried to go for the top spot. Joe doesn't like to qualify. He have no time to get comfortable in the truck. You jump in your truck, you aim it, and you pull the trigger. And Joey doesn't like that. He likes to work into it to, to get, get in a groove and, and, and get moving. But he went out, he's had a, it's one of his best qualifying. Definitely had to use the berms coming through the corners, carry your speed. We ended up coming out with a sixth place at qualifying. Definitely had to fight for our spot though. You know, it's funny, his little uh, cash lean was on the, on the start with me and he goes, so what are you gonna do, Jerry? What, what's, your, what's your idea? He goes, you're gonna hang it out. And I said, yeah, I'm gonna hang it out. push, you're not going to be where you want to be. And, and my goal was to at least be in the middle of everybody and, and to get out there. And, and sometimes I think, hey, you know, I go qualify in a race and I think, hey, I did pretty good. You know, Billy and I, you know, Bill O'Hara, my co-driver, navigator, he go, yeah, man, we did good. And then we look, man, we did like 19th. And it's like, well, we got to hang it out a little more, buddy.
Um, you know, this old man's got to push it sometimes, and I, and, I, and I pushed a little hard, and I was actually going a lot faster than I thought I was, and I ended up rolling the last corner. Well, basically we were sitting there after Joe went through the corner and we're like, somebody's putting it on their lid here today because that was a pretty tight corner. When Jerry appeared out from behind one of the jumps, he was traveling at a pretty high rate of speed. And I was like, oh, I think that somebody's here. And uh, sure enough. <laughs> yeah, brand new body wrap, everything. Uh, got about 2.8 miles on her. <laughs> As part of racing, you know, luckily the truck was all good. The truck got beat up. We had to pull the body panels off. It looked like somebody with the wheel loader filled the inside of the cab up with dirt. Never seen so much dirt inside anything before, but uh, once we got all the dirt out of the cab and the body off of it, uh, the truck was fine. The guys checked every nut and bolt, everything all the way through. Uh, mechanically, the truck was good. Um, cosmetically, it was pretty ugly. So Pops wasn't as lucky to start where we started. He ended up starting in the back of the pack because of his rollover during qualifying. My bell got rung pretty good and I was pretty, pretty sore. We said, you know, let's just go have a solid run. So our goal was to just to finish, to show that, you know, the fusion truck, it took a beating, but at the end of the day, it finished. Pedal down, make it through the day, but make the truck survive. Don't push it too hard. Starting the back of the pack any time is never any fun. And, and to make it worse, mile 60, I got a flat tire. I felt us hit a rock. I told Billy right away, hey, yeah, we got a flat, bro. And we, he goes, well, let's just go as far as we can. And we probably should have pulled over and just changed the tire because by the time we got the tire off and changed, it, it had like done like this reverse donut thing to where it was all off to the side and we could you know we could barely handle it and, and we got to change quick but it took us longer to tie it on i think than to change the tire by then all the 10 cars went by and about 10 of the utvs went by it wasn't long before we were in someone's dust uh, fighting trying to get around them so we came up on a trophy truck and as they were entering a corner, they got on their brakes. We just unfortunately got underneath their back end as it sat back down. It broke the fiberglass and the mounts. And every time we went to hit the gas pedal, it just decided to raise up with us. holding our own. We made a couple passes on people. You know, we had to bang our way forward, just as always, in it's racing. Coming through the trees, it's really a lot of fun. It definitely is a challenge on the forearms and the hands to keep the wheel spinning. You know, everybody's always talking about the trees. This is one of the first years I haven't got car sick in the trees. We had three UTVs going through the trees and we were just right on them and you couldn't see, you, you, you couldn't nerf them, you, you don't wanna get, it's, it's a game. Racing to me is a game, I, it's not worth getting anybody hurt with. 
So we just sat out there patiently and just picked them off one at a time. Every chance we got to squirt around them, we did. There's actually a water crossing that we're able to cross. When we hit up to the water crossing, our plan was to back off in the water, you know, not get drenched, not get soaked, and then all of a sudden we had a UTV just blast by us. We got soaked, but you know what? That dude was fast. You know, it's racing. There's a couple of rad train bridges along the course. Uh, definitely don't want to hang a wheel off the edge because you drop 15, 20 feet. That's a good thing about not having a hood on. Just saying, it's a good thing about not having hood on is going across the, the trestle because you can see your tires. We just go on it and, uh, you know, I always make sure that if we're going to fall, we're going to fall on Billy's side. <laughs> so that's kind of where we go with that. So coming towards the finish line, the last 50 miles, uh, we were definitely pushing back. We had gotten a flat, it had kind of messed up our time and our day, but we decided the last 50 miles we're gonna push and try to make up some spots and keep on moving forward. There were definitely some big kickers out there that sent you for a ride. Uh, we weren't slowing down at all though, had to fly them all. You know, overall, the race was fun. We ended up getting a lot of our spots back. We got eighth, we started 18th. So end of the day, we moved up 10 spots, and that's, that's good for me. I just wanted a top 10, and getting an eighth, even with the flat tire, to me, is, is a great day. Our day ended up pretty good, after all considered. We ended up going through four or five tires. He went through tires, and when you're pushing, you're gonna push through the corners, you're gonna hit tires, you're gonna hit stuff. So Pops ended up getting me again. Uh, we unfortunately just had too many flats. Those tires took him out and uh, the old man got him by 40 seconds. We ended up pushing through and ended up with a 10th place finish, I believe. There's nothing better in the world than racing against your son or with your son. I always want him to beat me, but I'm not gonna let him beat me. He's gonna earn it. It's priceless. There's nothing better in the world. It's a bond beyond just being a, a dad and a son. It's magical. What I love about it is, you know, there's times I'll come up on Joe and he, he broke or something and he'll just go, no, nah, go Pops, go Pops. And, and I'm like, I don't want to go get, get to my boy. And he go, no, nah, go Pops. So I'll go. And the whole my, time, my, my heart's telling me I need to turn around, hook a strap on this dude and get him across the finish line. But he, he would probably beat me up if I did that. So there's just nothing better in the world than racing with my son and the Hurling Fusion family. We are a family. Hey, I just, honestly, I just really want to thank my, the Fusion support team. Those boys, those boys right here, they jumped on this truck last night and this truck was put back together. It ran phenomenal today. I was just a little gun shy. I kind of got hurt a little last night, but I'm telling you what, these guys, including Joe, all these guys right here jumped in. Billy jumped in, pulled all the panels, cleaned it all out. They they put it all, you know, Mario, Brett, Kiefer, Joe, Billy, they all jumped in and they, they put this thing back together. And I, you know what, it was phenomenal today. I just, you know, I had a bad starting position and, you know, got, got stuck behind a lot of slow people and then I got a flat and then I was stuck behind a lot more slow people. So, but we finished and that's all that matters. And, uh, you know, truck was phenomenal. Other than don't jump a truck without a body, just saying. It's not good. <laughs>